Okay, so here's the first thing we got to do is make sure back face culling is on so we know that the normals are pointing in the right direction. And in this case, I want the normals pointing in on themselves, and I should be able to see the back. Again, if you don't know how to do this, it's normals reverse. You can see they're reversed to the outside. I want them reversed to the inside so I can see this just like that. Then we're going to go into uh, rendering, go into lighting, batch bake mental ray square box, and I want to bake shadows. I want light and color. Walls is my prefix. Now for this video I'm going to choose 1024 but please note that it's going to knock the quality down quite a bit but um, later on uh, you're going to have to know that that's why. And I'm baking this to one map. Pay attention to that. That means floors and walls become one map. So if you have a building with like let's say 28 different textures involved um, if you have the UVs so they're not stacked or mirrored uh, you could do this um, but it is very hard to do something like that because you have to stay away from stacked and mirrored UVs that means you have to make a very nice tileable textures every time so just keep that in keep that in mind all right I think we're ready let's save this out and give it a whirl so I just want the backdrop. I don't want the barrel. The barrel's already got its its baked occlusion. It's the color I want it to be. Now you're going to see this do this over and over and over again down here below. That's normal. That's saying that, uh, hey, I saw another material in here. I got to bake that out. Oh, here's another material. I got to bake that out. Uh, here's a couple textures. And, oh, wait, they're tiled. So I got to bake it again. And it's also got a final gather within the scene. So all good stuff. Now, you, as you can see throughout the chapters, so let's say chapter one through four, is just all about UVs and all about different scenarios of laying out UVs. They're all legit. You just got to know what combination to use for what. And that's the hardest thing for a new student. Which ones am I going to do to create a dungeon level? that has uh, non-dynamic lighting you know that I might I might bake them all out so here's what it's gonna look like in the scene not quite sure why that's there but pretend that's not there let's see what happens when I move you're gonna move the barrel it's gonna have a shadow there but um, it's probably just something within the scene Huh, weird. It is probably my video card. I'm going to blame my video card because I've never seen that before. I could easily fix it in Photoshop. Which, let's kind of go to Photoshop for a second and see what happened. Let's open our brand new texture. which I'm going to have to find on my hard drive, which is also located here in my texture palette. Uh, there is an option. No, there's not. I'm going to edit texture. There we go. It saved it 
or opened it up in my preview. Let me save this somewhere else because it needs to be. And that's what happens when you don't have your project. It'll go right onto your hard drive. Who knows where? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to open that in Photoshop. And this is my new texture. Notice it incorporated two different materials and put them all together for me. And give me some weird anomaly thing. Uh, so that thing I'm going to have to clone stamp out. Again, I've never quite seen that before in my life, but... Um, you know, this is one of those things. Doesn't really matter under the barrel because the barrel is going to be sitting on top of the shadow. I just want to repair that shadow just a little bit. There we go. That should work out. Um, and also, if you if you need it further down, uh, you can make a new layer, uh, grab some black, put it from here to here, and then lower the opacity down. There we go. So I'm just going to save that as a TIFF, and I'll call it walls period TIFF. I'll include layers in case I want to fix that shadow some more. And in Maya, what I want to do is import that new texture in the new location because I want to keep things very uh, organized. I guess that's how you recover from something like that. Gonna delete that one, go for this one. And walls. I am now going to assign this to. Well, that means I can get rid of some stuff. I can get rid of floors. I don't need that one anymore. I don't need Lambert um, 7 and 8 anymore. And now I've really streamlined my scene. I can just go in here and assign this new texture to it. Walls. Look at, I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff by just baking it in. Again, I don't need this. I don't need this checkerboard. I don't need the non-mirrored or, or the mirrored. I don't need that one. Here's three textures. Do I need floors? No. So now I, I'm down to two textures, two materials, one scene. making sure I got that right wall texture. I still, still see that triangle there. Oh, this is the one with no wall, no triangle. This is the one with triangle. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. That looks so much better. See, no triangle on the floor. Maybe a little bit of patchwork to do right here in Photoshop, but nothing we can't fix very quickly. 
taking an eraser, a very soft eraser at that, I can maybe go like this and fade the two shadows together. Save that out. Go back to Maya and check it out. Again, I'm, I'm going through this process because this is the exact process I'm going to ask for um, in the assignment. So, you know, I'm kind of showing you the way. I want you to do exactly the same. That's better. Okay. There's our scene. Now please proceed to the next video where I give you your assignment and you can probably guess what it is.